Hey everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith, and today I'm going to be working through the Beloved Bible Journaling Kit that's new from Illustrated Faith. This one is so fun, I'm so excited to jump in. This month's contributor is Mary, and her art is just so gorgeous, and I'm excited to get to play with some different things today. So I'm on the first session where she has us in 1 John 4.10, which is where I'm going to be journaling today. Um, and then she also has us look at John 3.16, Lamentations 3.22 and 23, and then talks about claiming his love for us, letting us know that we are his beloved, and then what that looks like to claim his love. So I was inspired by the colors on this half of the devotional booklet. So I grabbed some um, teals and an aqua, and a bright pink and like this mustard yellow to use color similar to these here. But before I actually start in my Bible, first I want to grab my paint and some tissue paper because I want to paint tissue paper to kind of get the look that's in the notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. I just have plain white like gift wrap tissue paper here. Um, there's a coated side and then there is um, like a papery side. I think I'm going to use the side that's not coated. I just have these cut down into manageable squares and I'm going to use my gel plate to paint them. But if you don't have a gel plate, you could totally use a paintbrush and a very light hand so you don't rip the paper. I'm going to use the gel plate so that I get a thin layer of paint on here. For the gel plate, I'm also going to need a brayer and some scrap paper to roll the paint off on too. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So to get my blocks of color, I'm going to start by putting a thin layer of acrylic paint on the gel plate and then rolling that out with my brayer so the plate is entirely covered. Then I'm going to take a piece of the tissue paper, place it on top of the plate, press down, and then peel up very slowly. And here we go. So I'm going to do a few more of these. I'm going to blend some colors. I'm going to do some solid colors and just see what I can come up with. So these dried pretty quickly and we got some really great vibrant color blocks to work with here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Bible out, turn to 1 John 4, and then I wanted to use the acrylic cards that were included with the devotional kit. So I had picked um, these two to think about using and I really like the way that the black and white looks on top of the paint. And so that's the one that I'm going to use today. The acrylic is pretty thick so I took a pair of heavy duty sharp scissors and just did like a general fussy cut around the area of this hand holding the flowers with the butterfly and I especially love how it looks on this gradient. So my plan, kind of half-baked plan here, is to tear off pieces of the tissue paper. So I have some super jagged spots like you see there and I'm just going to keep doing this with each color and layer them on top of each other and do kind of like a decoupage type thing. I'm going to get out some Mod Podge and layer them on top of each other or layer them together and then place the transparent piece on top. 
I wasn't really successful <laughs> with tearing it, um, so I decided to grab my scissors at this point and just start um, cutting off the excess tissue paper. So I'm simply using Mod Podge and a paintbrush to apply just a few little swipes of Mod Podge to each piece. And then once everything is down where I want it, I'm going to cover it, cover all of the edges so that they kind of stay down. And so I have an idea of where I want to use this transparent piece. And I'm just layering up the tissue paper in a way that I think will look interesting underneath it. I've never really done anything like this, so it was fun to try something new. The finished product is not my favorite, but I really liked the process of just trying something different that was new to me. I think my biggest issue with this is I didn't leave enough white space on my page. I filled up the whole margin in this illustrating Bible, and there is a lot of color. But really, I like to incorporate white space in my pages so that there's like somewhere for your eye to like get a break. <laughs> and that didn't really happen here. So I'm just going to speed this up and let you watch me um, layer each piece in the margin of my Bible here. realizing now that it's very colorful so I want to bring in some extra elements. I'm using the bits and bobs that Vanessa did with uh, one of Elaine Davis's older print and pray sets. So I'm going to put those to the side and grab my smaller gel plate. This is the circle variety and I'm going to mount this on an acrylic block so that I can use the circle stencil that came with the devotional kit. In Mary's art like Shauna mentions there's lots of dots and so I am going to put the stencil over my gel plate make sure that it's kind of like sealed onto there. Apply paint directly to the brayer and then roll that over the stencil that is affixed to the gel plate. Then I removed the stencil and I'm almost like stamping the impression that I got from the gel plate onto my page. Of course you could take acrylic paint directly to the page through the stencil. I historically have not had success doing that so I wanted to try this method because I've really been enjoying using the gel plate and I already had all of this stuff out. So I stamped that in about four places on the page just to add another layer of interest and I'm using a Dina Wakely um, heavy body acrylic here. I wanted to use a black paint but I didn't have one for some reason so I ended up using this really pretty night color. Next I'm going to adhere the transparent piece to my page. I just used my tape runner in the darkest places on the transparent piece so that you couldn't see the adhesive. Then I grabbed the stamp set that came with the devotional kit, stamped down the word beloved, added one of Vanessa's flowers here, and then I'll add uh, one of Mary's hearts to the top of my page there. I listened to the Jordan Feliz song Beloved and I typed up some of those lyrics on my typewriter. I had typed them up on white cardstock and then cut those out into strips here. It brightens up the page a little bit which I like. And then I added some more heart stamps from that same Alpha stamp set. I outlined my text and then I took the Uniball White Signo gel pen just to brighten it up a little bit more and drew some hearts with this, um, with this pen just because why not. <laughs> I added one more floral piece from Vanessa's Bits and Bob set that coordinates with the kit, and that's it. So I've got a finished look here at my page, and I hope you are inspired to try something that is new to you. If there's perhaps a technique or a medium that you've kind of been thinking about, I hope you will consider this your invitation to jump in. And I'd love to hear in the comments what you've been considering trying out. The Beloved Kit and the supplies that I used are linked down in the video description below. We'd love to have you join us for Beloved. It's going to be a great month documenting and celebrating God's love for us together.